Hey health enthusiasts! Today I'm breaking down the male reproductive system complete with awesome infographics to make it crystal clear. First up, external organs. The penis, it transfers sperm to the female reproductive system and yeah, it's used for urination too. Then there's the scrotum, a nifty pouch that holds and regulates the temperature of the testes. Moving inside, internal organs. The testes, or testicles, are where the magic happens. They produce sperm and testosterone. The epididymis stores and matures sperm until it's ready for prime time. From there, the vias deferens takes over, transporting sperm from the epididymis to the urethra. Seminal vesicles chip in by producing seminal fluid to nourish the sperm. The prostate gland adds fluid to help sperm move more easily. And finally, the bulbarethral glands release pre-ejaculate fluid to neutralize acidity in the urethra. Now let's talk about sperm production or spermatogenesis. Sperm are produced in the testes, specifically in the seminiferous tubules, and it takes about 64, 72 days for them to fully develop. Testosterone is key here. It's essential for sperm production and male characteristics. But what about common male reproductive health issues? Erectile dysfunction, trouble maintaining an erection, low testosterone leads to fatigue, low libido and muscle loss, prostate enlargement or BPH, common in older men, making urination difficult, and testicular disorders ranging from infections to cancer or hormonal imbalances. Got it? Good. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to Mulan Health for all things health and wellness. Stay healthy, folks.